Pile Foundations. Deep foundation is defined as depth is greater than B or depth is greater than 3 meters. File foundation always more expensive than shallow foundations but will overcome problems of soft surface, soils by transferring load is too stronger and deeper stratum and thereby reducing settlements. Pile resistance is comprised of end bearing and friction of the shaft. For many piles, only one of these components is important. This is the basis of a simple classification. End bearing piles. End bearing pile rests on a relative firm soil. The load of the structure is transmitted through the pile into this firm soil or became base of the pile bears the load of the structure. This type of pile is called end bearing pile as it is shown in the figure. Most of the piles used are end bearing piles. This is because majority of the new developments are on the reclaimed land. Friction piles. The firm soil is a considerable depth and it may be very expensive to use end bearing piles. In such situations, the piles are driven through the penetrable soil for some distance. The piles transmit the load of the structure to the penetrable soil by means of a skin friction between the soil and pile. So, these are friction piles and it is given in the figure. Apart from the above, there are another type of file is there. The pile installation procedure varies considerably and has an important influence on the subsequent response. These categories of files are classified by method of installation as below. Large displacement piles and small displacement piles and replacement piles. Naturally, that is displacement piles and replacement piles. Displacement piles means they encompass all solid driven piles including precast concrete piles, steel or concrete tubes closed at the lower end. Small displacement piles, they include rolled steel section such as hedge piles, open end tubular piles. The displacement piles means they displace the soil to the sides and they penetrate into the ground. Replacement piles, they are formed by machine pouring, grabbing or hand digging. Means the, a, the piles are constructed in a bore. Means the soil is removed and a hole is made and in that reinforcement is put and then concrete is laid that is replacement replace the soil displacement displace the soil loads applied to piles combination of vertical horizontal and movement loading may be applied at the soil surface from the overlaying structure for majority of the foundation, the loads applied to the piles are primarily vertical. For piles in jetties, foundations for bridge piers, tall chimneys and offshore piled foundations, the lateral resistance is an important consideration. The analysis of piles subjected to lateral and moment loading is more complex than a simple vertical loading because of soil structure interaction.
pile installation will always cause change of an adjacent soil properties densifying and etc sometimes is good sometimes it may be bad too modes of failure the soil is always failure by punching shear the failure mode of pile is always by buckling failure mode displacement pile means precast pile precast pile means the pile is casted on the ground and is driven into the ground so the pile material can be inspected for quality before driving construction operation effect by ground water there is no effect of ground water on the pile construction and can be driven very long lengths if the length is required we can attach and go ahead with the another pile construction operation not affected by ground water soil disposal is not necessary so we need not throw the soil outside that is the advantage the disadvantages may break during driving during driving the pile may break noise and vibration problems because of driving uh, equipment there is a huge noise as well as vibration and cannot be driven in condition of low headroom and noise may prove unacceptable noise permit may be required vibration may prove unacceptable due to presence of sensitive structures utility installation or machinery they may be get damaged replacement pile it is cast in situ pile first remove the soil make a bore and then put the reinforcement then put the concrete and like that less noise or vibration there is no noise or vibration a huge vibration and all nothing equipment can break up practically all kinds of obstruction before driving the boring itself we can break everything and make it clear and can be installed in conditions of low headroom and no ground heave depth and diameter can vary easily you can see the depth and diameter can easily vary and uh, these are the advantages the disadvantage the concrete cannot be inspected after installation once if it is concrete is poured you cannot uh, inspect the concrete liable to squeezing or necking somewhere there may be not feeling in the the hole itself so you cannot raking board piles are difficult to construct drilling number of pile groups may cause ground loss and settlement of adjacent structures cannot be extended above ground level without special adaptation these they are disadvantages of the replacement pile ultimate capacity of axially loaded single pile in a soil estimated by designer based soil data and somewhat empirical procedures it is common practice that the pile capacity be verified by pile load test at an early stage such that design amendment can be made prior to installation of the project pile the satisfactory performance of pile is in most cases governed by the limiting acceptable deformation under various loading condition therefore the settlement should be checked basic on the ultimate bearing capacity qu of pile may be assessed using soil mechanics principles the capacity is assumed to be the sum of skin friction and end bearing resistance that is qu is equal to qb that is bearing resistance and q is is the surface frictional resistance minus w that is the weight of the pile where qu is total pile resistance qb is the end bearing resistance and QS is side friction resistance, etc. General behavior: shaft resistance fully mobilized at small pile movement. That is, base resistance mobilized 
at large moment that is q u is equal to q s plus q b minus w is given the ultimate magnitude and strain dependent development of these resistances greatly depend on the type of soil and the method of installation q f is equal to 0 to l pi d c a sigma v k plus tan delta into d z total integral is that where l is the length of embedment of the pile c a is the addition between pile and soil sigma v is the effective vertical stress in soil at a depth z k is the coefficient of friction between soil and pile while ultimate point resistance can be written as q p is equal to a b area of the pile and at tip and c n c plus sigma v b into n q plus half into d gamma into n gamma this is almost all equal to the shallow foundation equation c is the cohesion of the soil and pi at the pi at the pile base a b is the area of the pile at the base and sigma v b is the effective vertical stress at the level of the base and gamma is the unit weight of soil and c and q and gamma is the bearing capacity factors for finding the load carrying capacity of the pile when piles are driven to refuse pile load tests are not required then the records of the driving resistance for full depth of penetration are obtained for every pile driven one of the popularly used dynamic formulas these are all dynamic formulas is engineering news formula applying with factor of safety of 6 the allowable loading carrying capacity of the pile is q allowable is equal to w h by 6 into s plus c q a is allowable load in the kilonewtons w is the weight of the hammer the h is the drop of the hammer in centimeters and s is average set of pile per blow and c is a constant this is used this dynamic formula is used to find in the dynamic formulas depending on the drop hammer and other types of hammers the q allowable is estimated for a drop hammer q allowable is equal to w into h by 6 into s plus 2.5 for double acting hammer q allowable is equal to h into w plus a into p by, by divided by 6 into s plus 0.25 a is the effective area of the piston in the square centimeters and p is the mean effective steam pressure in kg per centimeter square it is given generally accepted that the dynamic formula do not provide reliable predictions the more comprehensive version of dynamic formula is modified hilly's formula r is equal to that is the resistance ultimate driving resistance in tons is equal to w into h into that is s plus c by 2 so use the factor of safety 2.5 w is the weight of ram or afferent kgs and h is the effective height of free fall of the ram centimeters s is the final set per blow in centimeters c is the sum of the temporary elastic compression of dolly and packing c1 and pile c2 and ground 
nu is the efficiency of the blow representing the ratio of energy after impact of the striking energy of the ram. C3 is the estimated reasonably. Elastic compression C1, cap and pile head, pile material, precast concrete, pile with packaging inside capper, range of driving stresses and range of C1 is given in the table. Accordingly, we will use elastic compression C2 of the pile is given is equal to QU into L by AE, whereas A is the average cross-sectional area of the pile, E is the Young's modulus and L is the embedded length of the pile. So, elastic compression C3 of the soil is the average C3 may be taken as 0.1 like that. It is explained, self-explanate. Efficiency of the blow is given as for a drop hammer 1, single acting hammer 0 0.75 to 0.85, double acting 0.85 like that it is given. Or efficiency can be calculated by W into P into E square by W plus P. P is the and P is the weight of the pile, anvil, helmet and pounder in tons and E is the coefficient of restitution. Coefficient of restitution E for wooden file, wooden cushion, hammer on the concrete pile, cast iron hammer on the concrete pile and steel pile are given 0 0.25, 0 0.32, 0 0.40, 0 0.55 like that and that can be used in the Efficient, finding the efficiency of the blow. The curves shown loading versus settlement for both behavior frictional pile as behavior of end bearing piles. Piles founded on a dense soil and piles founded on a strong stratum. Both are given for verification. After a single file, the group of files will come into picture. How the group will affect a single file design and a group file, how they will interconnect it. Bearing capacity of a group piles, group efficiency is there, piles on the rock, consolidation settlement of a group files, etc. are to be taken. Group piles, there are nine group piles. So, D, D means center to center of the pile and B is different and that is center to center of the pile plus that extra B and L. D is the pile diameter, small d is the spacing between the piles. So, whereas L, U is equal, L group is equal to N minus 1 into D plus 2 into D by 2 and B is also same thing. It is given for a group piles. If the group piles are very nearer, certainly there is a overlap of stresses. It is shown in the figure that overlap of stresses will cause overstressing in the soil and there may failure also. So, the efficiency of the group piles will be less than the total number of piles into individual piles efficient pile strength. If the block failure occurs, the bearing capacity of the piles is PB is equal to BR into LR into CNC plus 2 into BR plus LR into L in C dashed. C is underdrained cohesion at the tip of the group. BR is width of the group. LR is the length of the group. L is the length of the pile. NC is the bearing capacity factor. 
and C dash is the average cohesion between surface and depth L along the periphery of the block. PB is ultimate bearing capacity of the block. Group efficiency is equal to nu is equal to block failure strength of the group from the block failure bearing capacity from the block failure of the group that is divided by sigma of individual bearing capacity of the pile. Nu is the group efficiency where NQ is the ultimate load bearing capacity of the group of the pile. QU is the ultimate load bearing capacity of each pile without the group effect.